We're here. We are making it happen. I'm late. My daughter had a readathon. My daughter had a readathon, which finished tonight, guys, and we had to read for 20 minutes. She read 3,500 minutes this readathon, so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, but we're here now, and I'm here in the chat. Hi. Sorry. Right. We're here, and we are started in the chat. <clears throat> Today, we are drawing... What are we drawing? We are drawing dangerous anchovies. That's not what I want. I want this. Dangerous anchovies for our Patreon pal, Carly. Carly, thank you. Sorry for the delay. We're here now. We're going to be drawing some dangerous anchovies. Mac is in the chat. Hi, Mac. All right, um, now this is a Patreon, I'm Porter Mason, by the way, I draw the Rooney the Rabbit comic strip, and we're live streaming, we live stream uh, our, that's not what I want, okay, that's not great, hello guys, all right, well, we got this, so that's good. We're live streaming uh, our drawings for our Patreon, my drawings for our Patreon patrons. Uh, if you're interested, go to patreon.com slash Porter Mason. You can get one of these drawings. I'm drawing dangerous anchovies tonight. And normally we do simple drawings. This one is going to be slightly more complicated. It's dangerous anchovies. <clears throat> Let me see if I can fix something here. Why isn't that doing what I want? Do -de -de. La -da -da. Unless it's iPad Pro. There it is. It's not showing. That's okay. We can see it here. Um, we normally do simple drawings, so it's uh, it's it's one one character but we're going to draw multiple characters because carly is great and these are dangerous anchovies and i want to kind of show a gang of anchovies uh so we're going to have a couple of anchovy weapons These are going to be some tough anchovies. This one's going to be kind of like ready to fight. And this one, and then the ones that are on the side are going to have weapons. No guns, because I believe these are <clears throat> anchovies that, that aren't really into firearms so much, but they're kind of a street gang of anchovies. And because I grew up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my street gangs must have nunchucks um, so nunchucks will be definitely part of this and then I think probably like knives and we'll kind of put uh, their dorsal fins looking a little bit like uh, um Mohawks, because these are anchovies from the Warriors. Yeah, I got the chat going over here. Let me see. Okay. We got some folks checking in on the chat, so appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you over there in the chat. And I'm just so annoyed here because I'm not sharing my iPad screen. There's always one thing wrong in each live stream. This one I rushed over to because I just got finished so we're reading Harry Potter right now my daughter is reading Harry Potter the Triwizard Tournament it's Order of the Phoenix no, no the Goblet of Fire and uh, she has been doing a month long readathon all the minutes count for the readathon minutes she's reading but also minutes that uh 
I read to her, and she likes for me to read Harry Potter to her. So we were reading that. She finally said, okay, time to go to bed. But I told her because you've been doing so great at the readathon. Again, guys, 3,500 minutes she's read. She's averaged over two and a half hours of reading per day. Okay, for 25 days. So I said, hey, uh, I'll read as, as late as you like tonight. And it was later than anticipated. And uh, so I rushed over here. So I didn't check. I did check. See, I checked the thing that went wrong last time, which was the... Uh, some other thing had gone wrong last time. I checked that. But then I didn't check the iPad. Uh, so it's okay. Because we got the iPad real time and live time. Yeah, this is a little bigger than I'd like. There we go. Let's see what I want. I don't mind these thick lines. I just... Uh... And, uh... If you're interested, I guess I could move over here to say, um, I mentioned before, hey, you, this can all be yours if you join the Patreon, patreon.com slash Porter Mason. Uh, if you join at the $10 a month level, you get one of these illustrations every year, you get the illustration, you get the live stream, uh, you get that all delivered to you. I'm even going to start offering prints of those, although that'll be a little bit extra. Limited spots for these because I only do so many of them a year. We have about six spots left. If you're interested, go for it. That's patreon.com slash Porter Mason. Uh, a couple different levels. If you want more drawings, you're welcome to them. You can get more drawings. Uh, we already have someone at the drawing a month level, but if you want a drawing every other month, we have a few spots there, a couple spots there, and five spots a limited over there. But I got limited spots, guys, because I only have but so many hours every week. I hope you guys can hear me okay. It wasn't um, it wasn't working that great. The, the audio last time. I was going to try to sort that out a little bit, but certainly didn't have time to do that. Kind of like how they're curling up there. Got a little fins. We'll give some detail to the fins later. I think they're tail should look very sharp. Now, we do have nunchucks here. And, uh, again, that's just, you have to have nunchucks. If you're a street gang, I think you should have nunchucks. I've never personally been in a street gang. But it seems to me that the primary reason for joining one would be to be able to, to use nunchucks. That's what I think, at least. Check in the chat. Claudio in the chat says audio looks good. Thank you, Claudio, another patron. Claudio has some more drawings headed his way. Let's go back a little bit. Shortly, so he'll have to... Claudio, get your ideas generating. We have some drawings coming your way very soon. Great. I think the whole world loves nunchucks. And I got some chain links over here. Uh, if you're in the chat, if you're not in the chat, join in. Uh, you do have to just become a subscriber of the channel to join the chat, which is like, you know, doesn't cost you anything. Um, but sometimes during these live streams well first of all if you become a subscriber you'll get notified when we have future live streams but also then during the chat sometimes i can ask for uh help or ideas on certain aspects of this let's get closer on these 
Uh, so I'd definitely join in that chat if you can. These nunchucks have been used before, you said. Yeah. Okay. 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 Max in the chat. Should check to see. Another window here. Check that. Currently was able to make the chat. This guy is gonna have like a shin stick in it. So his. He's got kind of a, a little bit of an underbite. Because I feel like one guy in the gang should have an underbite. Fish gangs are a real problem out there, so I don't mean to make light of fish gangs. A lot of people do get hurt by anchovies every year, but not these guys. All right, so I need to change my composition a little bit. I missed the last couple of weeks of live streaming. Oh, Carly is Mac. Hi, Carly. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were Mac. Carly, thank you so much for joining. Again, I apologize for the delay, but now you'll have dangerous anchovies in perpetuity. Um, and if someone had, if you guys have a recommendation for another weapon that these dangerous anchovies should have, a non-firearm related weapon, I'm I'm open to it, but for now I'm gonna stop with the knife and the nunchucks and these fists. Because those are the anchovies' greatest weapons, are their weird fins that they've curled into to fists. Now for colors, we're going to make these guys, well you know what, I'm just going to do a brief look up of this, so we'll do it. Oh, my other comic strip basis one to check it out. Uh, I was checking out something about the basis one site. Yeah, this is what I was figuring. Um, they're silvery, which is not extremely exciting, so I was going to go more for this kind of blue tinted type thing. Um, the shiny blue kind of iridescent. Thing, although this is interesting, uh, I guess I should actually do the. Just before I do anything, let's go to Creative Commons. No, no, not videos. Creative Commons. And, uh. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I'm not too concerned with that. I'm moving his dorsal fin up because it looks more like a mohawk, so. I don't think, uh. It's exceeding Carly's expectations, she says in the chat. I See? You didn't think dangerous anchovies would be a thing. No, there's a lot of... I'm sorry to say that when I pulled up the anchovy images, you see a lot of dead anchovies. And uh, that is not... That's not what we're trying to get across here. These are the tough anchovies. Um, Alright. Well, I'm just going to grab these guys from Flickr and uh, you know I don't think again anchovies are you know all, all out of the paste they're um they don't look as tough here but as you can already see they're indeed quite tough all right I think we get back here yeah, the Google images for anchovies is is tough. Uh, so I kind of like trigger warning: if you don't want to see dead fish, don't don't Google anchovies. Uh, you know, I know anchovies are common pizza topping, 
for me, that's a miss, but. All right, we're gonna add in some detail to anchovies. I wanna do it on a different layer. Uh, so don't always do this, but we're gonna add in some detail work. And, but I wanna keep it separate from this layer. So I'm kinda trying to indicate fins here with this. And I don't want it to overpower things. So this is this constant struggle with these type of drawings is uh, not put too many lines to distract. Oh, I want uh, you know what? I do have the first art prints we've made of some of our drawings, of our previous live stream drawings. And I will show those to you before we end this live stream. I'm gonna do that for these guys too. Uh, yeah, we found a really nice place to do what are called glissé prints. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Uh, nice printing. And we're gonna offer those, well, they're gonna be offered to special patrons now, but um, <clears throat> I'm gonna offer those on the Rooney the Rabbit site later in the year, probably in the fall. But people like Carly and Claudio already in the chat, uh, when I email them about their drawings, I also tell them about how they can get prints of these if they like. And they look, they turned out good. This glissé printing process is nice. I guess it's a new type of um, printing machine. Somebody invented some type of printing machine and it looked worked real good. I am from the South, so I'm allowed to, to do that accent. You know, we just want to kind of indicate a little bit of things here. There's spines along these. Again, along these dorsal fins that, that are really not there. But, you know what, it's okay. I, I do like these little spots along there. Maybe we'll indicate those. We'll leave those for the color though. All right. All right, okay. I think this is good. Did, the big question is, do we want a guy here? But I don't know, I think it might be too much. I think these guys are good just as they are. We'll, we'll, we can always add one later if we feel we need it. No, let's put it in the background first. I don't think we want, if you look at our previous I actually had a fish last time. We had a tetra. I didn't put the the blue background in. I feel like these guys, if we go blue, then that's um then we got the blue of the fish in there. I think something like green. Or again, these are aggressive fish, so perhaps they should be red. Let's leave it red for now. And we'll just uh I'm mindful of uh Carly's expectations throughout because they were they were exceeded. We're gonna keep exceeding them. That's the goal here. A constant accession. Alright, do that. Let's just make it all blue for now. We'll get in there and mix it up later. And uh, yeah, and we'll leave the weapons for later. Oh, and I should go over, since I'm moving into coloring, I'll just mention briefly here. This is not really brought to you by, but I am uh, happy to send people towards Sketchbook Pro. That is what I'm using right here. This thing is a Sketchbook Pro, this thing that this iPad is sitting in. Uh, this thing is great. Uh, it essentially turns your iPad into a moving uh, moving sketchboard, uh, like, like a real live artist would have, just like a real live artist. And um, it seriously makes your iPad very much like a Wacom tablet or something that would cost thousands of dollars. It turns your iPad into that. It works with any iPad. You can, uh, and if you change iPads later, this part here can actually lift out and you can just get the replacement that fits your new iPad. It's great. Go over to sketchboardpro.com. Pick one up if you use code Rooney Comics when you check out, you will get 10% off, and I recommend you do that. 
I love Sketchboard. I love my Sketchboard. I said it before on these streams, but the this the Sketchboard and the iPad, obviously, but the Sketchboard is literally what has made it possible for me to do digital art because uh, I could not afford a Wacom Wacom uh, tablet. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it, but it's a very expensive, though very good tablet used by a professional artist. But I could afford an iPad, and uh, that is what has allowed me to do digital art. I, the Sketchboard Pro is absolutely part of it. It's not, it's not breaking the bank either. It's hundred dollars, maybe a couple hundred dollars. I'll tell you what it is. It's on the thing. Buy it now. It is. $116 and then you'd get another 10% off. So you'd get it for under $100 if you use code Rooney Comics with sketchboardpro.com. So, totally, totally worth it. I think I got these all in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this blue. And then the fins that we were going to put in the little kind of shimmering, shimmeringness of it. Right, I do a clipping mask. As always, I'm going to effort to not uh, immediately shut up when I begin doing. Oh wait, hold on. I had an idea for that. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'll do that later. So I'm gonna do this. I'll, I'll erase this later. It's going to look super cool. Okay, and then we'll erase this off of it so it's limited to there. Great. I love it. Oh, I didn't do it there. That's okay. Oops. So I'm coming up on, I just wrote, but I've not drawn yet, my 300th new Rooney the Rabbit comic strip. It's not published yet, but it will be shortly. Well, it will be in March. And that is enough for me to compile these into a book which I will be doing probably next year. I'm excited to do that. I actually got a book of Rooney Comics made up for this readathon for my daughter. So my daughters are getting the first Rooney the Rabbit book. And um, they're also going to be taking a look through to see if which of the comics, which of the Rooney Comics kids might like better because they a lot of the Rooney comics are a little, um, well, they're just not for kids. They're not, like, too hot for TV. They're just more about adult emotions. And uh, the kids are kind of like, okay, I don't have crippling anxiety yet, so this doesn't, this doesn't currently speak to me. Claudio in the chat is asking, how am I not humming or tapping along to the tunes you're hearing? And there's a very simple reason, which is I can't hear them. I actually don't know which tune is playing right now. I just have a playlist of royalty-free jazz that is playing. I only find out later which ones are, are actually in here. So you guys are lucky. You're getting to hear, hear this jazz. But I do like it. I, I have listened to it. I'm just, I'm not hearing it right now. Um, but, yeah. Good tunes. Although, again, YouTube, I have to check this again, because YouTube is, smacks it with a, a, a content warning sometimes, and I don't fully understand why. And because it is royalty-free, and I can... I'll take that to the bank, but I don't know. 
I don't know. Some people have somehow gotten copyright claims on royalty-free music. Um, so I'll have to check that out. But, yeah, it's sweet jazz. I like jazz. I like old-timey jazz. I, I don't mind any jazz, but, uh, yeah, I like old-timey jazz. These guys look good, and I like the, the red. This is looking fine to me. I am going to try to put on these little spots. So, this spot, we're going to find the right kind of a uh, brush here. These are random ones I had up with. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Because I like these. Oh, no, it's too much. Maybe a little smaller. Yeah. Yes, of course, as always. While I color, I forget to talk. The more important question is how do I resist the urge to silently just draw here while I'm coloring? I can't. I just. Coloring is very difficult for me to talk while this is when my brain is working 2000% is trying to figure out how to color this competently. I really wish I could get some. Colorist joining the stream and they would tell me Here's how to do it. You're coloring wrong. You could color without any uh <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm trying to do voices here. I do the voices when I read the Harry Potter books, that's probably why I'm in this mode. I do a pretty good uh but there's if there's too much Hagrid and there's a lot of like you know, that thing and it's um uh, my throat gets killed. But my favorite is doing Hermione. So I like, you know, I like doing that part of the voice. Okay. That's neither here nor there. No. Let's figure out how we want to do. It looks kind of cool. I think I want to go back to this, though. No. Maybe this, actually. This. Because I think what I want to do is, oops, select my guy here. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. And then go here, and then kind of make exactly. Now. Maybe I don't want to change the opacity that much. Now these guys, their heads are kind of light. Could be. Or they're just shimmering. Let's see what that looks like. What if I color it the whole thing? Is that something? Let's see. I think that could be something. Alright. Gonna do this guy. that what changed I don't know I don't know but we're just gonna make another layer then so that confuses me mm -hmm. No. 
Covered this fish's head three times. That's okay. Because again, Carly has a record of all this. So she'll be able to adequately go back through this for years to come. It's very interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. It's changing the opacity of my layer. No one knows why that's happening. No one. All right. Yeah, I don't really want that. But it's interesting. All right. Well. One thing we're gonna do is do some, I do this on the birds that I draw sometimes, which, so I use this to show little scales. And I think it works well. And since I already have some dryness here, we'll do that. That's an indication of scales. And it's fun. Show their gills to him. He's gonna have some scales on his belly because kind of what I'm actually showing is that this is where the light hits the scales. So that's what I'm sort of showing. And then I'm gonna use this also to put some weight here. This is a very. This is a very sharp brush. It's a very, I like everybody term, very digitally brush. And I, some things it works very well for, but other things it looks too clean. Didn't cut off on that. I'm gonna time check here, 11.04. That's good, we're gonna move on to some shading soon. These guys will be well on their way. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're here. What is that? That's there. I just delete that off a little bit. Oh no, that's not that's nothing. Um How do I feel about that? That's all right. There. That's fine. Okay. Let's put on some shadows. Light's gonna come from over here. From over there. I should get a backdrop tool. Okay, great. It must have something to do before when it was changing. Uh, I had layers on opacity and it was changing them so that the brush itself had a change in opacity. And opacity is just the level of transparency that something in digital art has, either the brush or the, in this case, the layer. I like to keep it at the layer level because then I can manipulate it later. But, so I was just finding it just before when I was working with the selection tool, I was also doing it at the, uh, the brush level. I mean, you guys are learning right along with me. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay, it does because that's under his chin. It's Mr. Underbite here. He's gonna have a bit of that. 
Let's see some shadow from their misplaced fins. And, uh, yeah. These fins, I mean, look, some of my drawings, they're used for references in biology classes. This one, not so much. This one is more used as reference material in self-defense classes. Say, like, hey, you come up against a, an unruly school of anchovies, and you know you want to be well prepared to deal with them. And you use this drawing to kind of uh, evoke that fear. I've, from what I've heard, that it works quite well. My drawings inspire fear of people who are afraid to be attacked by anchovies. And that's a healthy fear. You should be afraid to be attacked by anchovies. In my opinion. move over to some highlights. This layer as well will have lower transparency. Go into some of the fins and I know we're not trying to not speak of anchovies in their culinary sense, but um, my main knowledge of anchovies came from TV shows in which someone would complain about having anchovies on their pizza, but it was so far away. I mean, we barely had pizza, I feel like, growing up uh, in the American South. I know it's different now, but we just had, like... Um, you know, pizza had a Domino's. I don't even think you can get anchovies on any. And you can join the chat and tell me if I'm wrong or not. But anchovies, I just knew it was like a joke. And it's like, I don't want anchovies on my pizza. Good night, everybody. That kind of a thing. And uh, like many parts of culture, I mainly learned from watching TV shows, which were training me what. I should laugh at. I just know that anchovies were, were a very funny thing to have on your pizza and tasted, I don't even know what I thought they tasted like, just very strong. Uh, I guess I knew they were a fish, I guess. I've since had them. They're a fundamental part of Caesar salad. And they're just very salty, you know? They're okay. I don't mind an anchovy. Not these guys, boy. I wouldn't want to run into these guys. That's for sure. I think we've got some okay texture over here. I like the texture and the fins. dark. It feels though I want even more shadow. So I'm going to do that. No shadow layer, but this one's going to be a little rougher. shadows as well as shadows with a little uh, something to them. And this fin I won't cast initially. This fin is hardly casting a shadow at all, so let's do it. 
I think this too. I think the fins have it. That's fun. Harley is saying that she believes that Cheese Whiz itself has anchovies in it. Now, Cheese Whiz, to me, would I feel be made of largely synthetic parts. Cheese Whiz we did have in Virginia Beach growing up. And that was a major, um, what did we have on it? We would put it on like hot dogs or something? I think that's what we put on cheese, uh, put cheese was on. I'd be surprised if anchovies were part of it, but you know, you think it, but we're gonna look it up live. Anchovies, let's do it. Does cheese was have anchovies? Google suggests is already asking for it. Is there cheese was and anchovies? We're brought to you by sponsor.com. If you're referring to the actual brand name cheese was, then yes, it contains anchovies because it has Worcestershire sauce and anchovies are the main components of Worcestershire sauce. I never knew that. I never knew that Worcestershire sauce was in cheese whiz, and I never knew that anchovies were a major part of Worcestershire sauce. So, we have learned, I mean, we've already learned a lot tonight, but now we've really learned. Okay. These guys, I don't know why. There we go. That's fascinating. So, I was just absolutely right on that. She came armed with cheese with anchovy facts. And that's a special kind of, uh, Patron. And that kind of patron is one that knows about cheese whiz. Not even so much anchovies, but just cheese whiz. Carly is armed with lots of cheese whiz. I think we need another one. We need another thingy dang. We've had this happen before. But we just need it. We just need another little thingy dang in there. Under the shadows, we need three tones. Well, I mean, four tones. We need to blur some stuff. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. That's right. Well, actually, anchovies are, Carly's mentioning that they're bad for our health internally, as well as if we run into some anchovies in a dark alley, but dangerous. But actually, anchovies are one of the healthiest fish for you for omega-3s. Any small oily fish, which I would certainly count anchovies among, are very good for you. Um, and... They're usually very, I, I know a little bit about the environmental impact of fishing. And the small fish fisheries, they're usually great. There's usually, that we should eat more of those fish. They're not, they're good to eat. They can be often farmed well. Again, I don't know about the specifics of anchovies, but they, Uh, so please, you should eat anchovies. And then to Carly's point, you should eat the anchovies because you gotta get these guys off the streets. Because old ladies are clutching their perches when they run out of these anchovies. So we're pretty good here. I just want to do something. I'm feeling trepidatious now about scales. I think I know why. Because 
I think I want to pull this thing in too. Oh, and I promised. Yeah, okay. I also promised to show you the new art prints. So I'm going to get those art prints. Uh, I want you to take a look at the Rooney the Rabbit Patreon. And I'm going to get these art prints. They look beautiful, they've never been seen. By even the people who ordered them. Claudio is one of those people. Claudio, this is your print. You haven't seen it yet. Uh, we have a couple different kinds of prints. One are prints of an illustration. These are going to be framed. Very nice. Uh, and then the other, let me show you another one of those. The bear from the previous week. Pretty. And they're really nice. Um, again, the printing of this just looks so good. I draw it at a very high resolution so they print out really well. And then what Claudio had re requested was one of his favorite strips printed. So we have this, and again, they're going to get some nice lucite frames. And they look great. And those are going to be going out to some patrons shortly who wanted to... They had requested that, so I looked into making these prints, and they're going to be available, available for... Very low rates for patrons, and then when I offer them in the fall, they'll be available full price. But I'm gonna stop with these guys here. These are dangerous anchovies. Uh, we did it, guys. We did dangerous anchovies. Here they are. I'm gonna do the time month replay now. Again, guys, please, 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 please join the Patreon. That's how you get. Dangerous anchovies. That's how Carly got these dangerous anchovies headed her way. If you join at, at ten dollars a month or higher, you get one of these uh, at least every year. We do some promotions throughout the year. We would get some more uh, potentially, and uh, you can join for higher if you want more drawings. And again, if you are an artist, get a Sketchboard Pro, please. Again, if you use the coupon code Rooney Comics, you'll get these guys uh get get one of these guys for under a hundred dollars i can't express to you how much it is worth it um what else thanks to carly thanks to carly for all her support over the years you guys the patrons who sub support me it means so much it allows me to do this this is something i've loved doing my whole life and i'm so happy i get to to do this stuff for you guys now go to rooneycomics.com check out the comics and uh stay here uh, well you can stay here i'm gonna go but you can come back here every week to see more live streaming. Uh, it's always hard for me to know when this exactly stops streaming. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. I'll see you next week. And that's it. And hopefully I'm gonna 